great stories. The one we're going to tell you is about a young man who's not able to participate today. It's our building character. <laughs> Antonio Bowman was a senior wide receiver and defensive back for Rancho Buena Vista with aspirations to play football after high school. Those plans were altered one night in October. We played Ramona, third in there. Um, I was running a sweep inside and the linebacker hit me and then his buddies came to help. When I got up, I had a buddy know, so the rest of them to go to the sideline. And then um, I went to go get some water to clean up my nose. And then um, I was walking down the sideline toward my trainers. And then uh, my legs started shaking, and then my whole body started shaking. And then uh, I went to my knees because I couldn't like keep my balance. And then I started throwing up, and then uh, I lay down, and then my head was like spinning. And my coaches were over me, asking what's wrong. They're like, "Calm down, calm down, what's wrong?" And then I was like, "I don't know what's going on." I was screaming, and I was like, "What's going on? What's going on?" And then, um, and I just blacked out. Next thing I remember was waking up in the hospital. What, what did they tell you and how did you handle that? Um, they told me that I had internal brain injury and they had to take my skull out. Because soon they had to take the left side of my skull, a piece of it like that big, to reduce the swelling because my brain was swelling up. And they said if I didn't, if they didn't like um, do it fast enough, if they delayed it 20 minutes, I could have died or had um, mental problems for the rest of my life. And then the next day, um, I was able to walk a little bit, and then um, they, I was out, so I got in the hospital that Friday, and I was out the next Thursday, and they said that I should have been in the hospital for about two or three weeks, but they said the way my body was, or how physically in shape I was, they said that's what helped me to recover faster. The SDFNL staff heard about Antonio's story and reached out to him to invite him to be an honorary captain. Well, he's an inspiration, you know, seeing a kid fighting for his life laying in the hospital bed. Coming out of here and inspiring other football players to keep going and telling his story to them about how you know you never know when football is going to be over, so make the most out of every opportunity possible. So we wanted to make sure that SNFL supported the more structure or support cast with our fellow brotherhoods of San Diego other players, at least to be on the side to get that one last food. We're, uh, we're just happy to have him out here today and uh, to also have him out to uh, support this different All Star game and have him as a captain and come out to the field one more time. and stuff, it was really cool. Like, people come to my house say hi, so people I don't even know. And it's just really cool. I, I walk around sometimes in the city with my mom, and then people just come up to me. I eat number 10 from my degree, and they just, like, give me their sympathy and stuff. I was the eighth person who had this injury in the whole, out of the whole country. The first guy who had it, his mom reached out to my mom, and then it continued through that. We started, like, getting everyone together that had the injury. And the last person who had it, he died. Couple weeks after we had the hit, so what we're doing, we're getting a foundation together, and like me and my mom are gonna be the top person for San Diego County, and then um, the first person we had it in Sacramento, and then we just keep on going around the country. That's how we're gonna get it out. Yeah, it's pretty serious when we do something about it. So, so do you hope to still do stuff in football? I mean, obviously, if there's stuff you want to coach. Um, yeah, I want to coach. And, like, I can't play any contact sports, so like I'm still gonna go to college. I'm trying to do it for track, but I'm not sure. But um, I'm gonna do like flag football still, but I'm still gonna coach. I don't know, like I don't know if I'm.